Well, good morning, everyone, and as always, thank you all for joining me for Tuesday, January the 7th, 2020. Again, I am your host, Shy town Zone. Without further ado, guys, let's get into this. Of course, I will be leaving links in the description box below where this is out of Breitbart News, guys, where the article here reads, 24 Australians charged with bushfire arson as further arrests are expected. And of course, you know, there's a deadly situation unfolding right now as we speak in Australia where there is a very massive wildfire taking place there. Uh, we do know that a total of over 100 uh, firefighters from the country here have been sent to assist firefighters there in Australia with this rather large and very dangerous wildfire at this time, guys. But we're going to continue to do our very best to monitor this. But the article here reads, 24 Australians in the state of New South Wales alone have been arrested since early November for intentionally setting bushfires as a record number of blazes uh, continue to burn across the country. You know, this is a terrible situation, guys. We're going to continue to do our best to monitor this. But the article further reads, more suspects are expected to be questioned in coming days as local police work to find and apprehend the culprits who uh, who have uh, con contributed to the devastating uh, fire season, the Sydney Morning Herald reported. But of course, guys, this is a very terrible and very dangerous situation. We need to do our very best to continue to monitor this. I believe right now we do know that a total of 25 people have been confirmed dead as of yesterday from what sources have told us as well. But again, we're going to continue to uh, keep our eye on this. For all we know, this is a bunch of liberal anarchists just looking for some kind of attention. Maybe climate change. We don't know what this is really all about, guys. But again, this is really terrible and um, you know we don't know what else to really say right now, but we're going to continue to do our very best to monitor this. But moving on, guys, where you're not going to want to miss this one. Uh, exclusive video, Breitbart News visits unsecured U.S. border across from uh, the cartel headquarters. That's correct, guys. Along the U.S.-Mexico border there where there is no fence in certain areas, guys. Uh, but the article here reads, uh, during the recent border tour, Breitbart News visited an unsecured section of the Texas border with Mexico across the river. Crown jewel of the Gulf Cartel, Miguel Alman, I'm not even going to pretend attempt to uh, pronounce his last name but the article here reads guys just south of us in the crown jewel of the Gulf cartel Breitbart News contributor uh, Ortiz told uh, Alex uh, Marlowe Breitbart News editor-in-chief that there that is where the uh, bulk of the drug smuggling and the human smuggling comes through this area right here. Of course, there is a video where you can see this for yourself, guys, but this is a terrible situation, you know, when it comes to the drug cartel and, you know, the drug gangs and, you know, gangs like the Las Zetas and whoever else and whatnot and, you know, bringing drugs and smuggling children across the border or whatever and, uh, you know, oftentimes, you know, many of these kids that get smuggled across the border end up getting raped or, you know, getting tortured or something as they're being smuggled across, guys. And it's really a terrible situation there. That's why President Trump, for one, wants to build the border wall to keep the gangs and the drugs out of this country. But uh, the article further reads here, Ortiz told Marlo that there was no physical barrier in this section of the Rio Grande border with Mexico. This is an area that sees constant traffic, Ortiz explained. He said that this also has been the scene of numerous gun battles where the Gulf a cartel have fought tooth and nail to hold on to this territory from an invasion by the Los Zetas and also when uh, there's been internal fights within the Gulf cartel as well guys but yes you know this is a terrible situation when it comes as I've said to the drug cartels you know they're constantly fighting among, among one another for territory and for money and for you know for power or whatever it might be but guys we're going to continue to do our very best to monitor this uh, you know, again, you know, this is really crazy. And I see why President Trump wants to build a wall. Of course, they are building a wall, but it's taking time, guys. But it is coming along. Um, it wasn't long ago that President Trump actually just visited Mexico before. As many of you may remember, he even signed one of the pieces of the wall as it was being installed or it was already installed or whatever there. But again, uh, you know, this is a terrible situation with everything going on there in Mexico at this time, guys. But we're going to continue to do our very best to monitor this. But with that being said, everyone, again, I am your host, Shy town Zone. So for those of you, again, watching for the first time, do feel free to subscribe for further updates or any breaking news if we happen to have any. And I will do my very best 
to bring that to you. And with that being said, God bless.